Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you are new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome to this week's What's for Dinner video. So this week's What's for Dinner is in collaboration with Ashley from Ashley's Kitchen. So make sure when you get through watching my video, you go check out the description box and click on the link and go watch her What's for Dinner from the day. She shares a What's for Dinner every single week and I promise you, you will not regret going to check out her channel. She shares some delicious dinners over there. I highly recommend y'all going to check her out. And if you're coming from Ashley's channel, welcome. We're so glad to have you and we hope you hit that subscribe button so that you can keep on hanging out with us. We're going to be kicking off this week with a football dinner. So it was football Saturday and the Georgia Bulldogs was finally playing again. Go dogs! So I made a football dinner. So right here I'm making some Rotel dip and I just put in two cans of Rotel in the cans. And then I put in a half a block of this melt and dip cheese, which is like Velveeta cheese, just the great value brand, and a block of cream cheese. And then I browned up some ground sausage or you can do ground beef, it doesn't matter basically the same but I use sausage this time and then I just pour that over on top pop my lid on there and let that cook on low until all the cheeses were melted also I made some ranch dip for chips and I just mix in some sour cream with my ranch packet mix that all up together and you've got ranch dip for your tater chips <laughs> also made some little smokies my kids love these but i always start by making the sauce first and to make the sauce i add in about a cup of brown sugar maybe a cup of ketchup and just a few dashes of worcestershire sauce let that kind of you know mix together let the sugar kind of melt down a little bit and then i pour in my little smoky sausages and make sure that they get good and coated and i cook that on low for about 20 minutes you know you don't want to cook it too long but you want to kind of heat those little smokies up made some spinach dip and to make my spinach dip I had some artichoke hearts that I needed to cut up into little fine pieces you also need water chestnuts but I could not find any so I just didn't bother adding them to mine and it was still delicious you also need a ranch packet you also need some frozen spinach I guess you probably could use like fresh spinach but I've never tried it that way I've always used the frozen spinach and then you also need some mayonnaise and some sour cream <music> As y'all can see, once I got all the artichoke hearts cut up, I'm just adding those into my bowl. And then I'm gonna go in with my frozen spinach and then I'll go in with my whole thing of sour cream. I think I have like a 16 ounce of sour cream. And then you'll also go in with your little ranch packet. And I only did like a spoonful of mayonnaise. I didn't go too crazy with the mayonnaise, but y'all, I don't have exact measurements. I just kinda throw some stuff in the bowl, mix it together, but I'll always have a recipe linked in my description box so that y'all can get measurements. I'm just going to use a spoon and kind of mix it all up evenly.
We use some of these Kings of Wine sweet rolls for our spinach dip. You just put you some of that bread on, or you put some of that spinach dip on your bread and eat it like that. I had my chips and my dips. We had hamburgers, we had hot dogs, we had sausage dogs. We also had bacon for the hamburgers. We had our little smokies. We had our rotel dip with some tortillas. We just had it all going on on this night for our football Saturday night. So for the next dinner, my husband grilled some chicken legs. I opened up a can of greens and made some rice sides and I also baked some rolls. But to season our chicken, we used some chicken licka bam bam, some low and slow barbecue rubs, some Everglades seasoning and some garlic salt. So as you can see him right here seasoning up our chicken legs and he does season them on both sides. He'll turn them over and season the other side in just a little bit. And I actually was so busy with the kids and everything like that, I forgot to get some clips of him actually grilling the chicken, but he did throw the chicken on the grill. It was cooked on the grill. And lastly, whenever he just has a few minutes before the chicken is all done, he does add a little bit of barbecue sauce to each chicken leg. And then y'all, I love the Old Glory or is it just Glory, I don't know, brand of canned greens. And all I do is add in some bacon grease into the bottom of my pot and then I dump over the greens. Cook them on low for about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. You're basically just heating up your greens. They're already cooked. And then that's how they look once they were done. And like I said, I also made some rice sides. And of course, I just made those by the directions on the back of the package. And then here was our chicken legs once they were all done. Like I said, my husband did grill them. And he did add a little bit of barbecue sauce to them once they were almost done. I also baked some of these Sister Schubert's yeast rolls. And then here was our plate once it was all plated up. So moving into the last dinner that I'm going to be sharing with y'all this week, I actually made this in a cook and clean with me that went up over here on my channel on Friday. So if you missed it, I'll have it linked down below so that you can go check it out. And that's why I'm not going to be going in so much detail because I've already went into detail in that video about how I made this dinner. But like I said, I'll have it linked so that you can go check it out. But basically all you have to do is pan fry up some chicken breast. I'm going to season up my chicken breast. I'm going to cut it in some breadcrumbs and then I'm going to pan fry in my skillet. Once the chicken's done, I'm going to remove the grease. I'm going to add in my chicken back into the skillet i'm going to cover them with some spaghetti sauce and then i'm going to top them with some mozzarella cheese and some queso quesadilla cheese but of course you can use whatever kind of cheese you prefer then i'm going to pop that in the oven for just a little while and let that cheese melt down and then i'm also going to boil some spaghetti noodles and then once they're done i'm going to cut those in spaghetti sauce i'm going to plate up the spaghetti noodles and then top it with the chicken breast and that was what we had for dinner on this night like I said, if you missed that video, you need to go check it out because this dinner was so delicious. I loved it and I'm definitely going to be cooking it again soon. y'all so i just cannot tell y'all enough how delicious this dinner was so all you have to do is put your spaghetti noodles on your plate and then you top it with the chicken breast this thing was so good soon as my husband leans out again because he's not a big fan of tomato sauce dinner so i'm gonna be making this dinner again it was just that good i loved it it's a unique twist on spaghetti like if you're wanting spaghetti but you're wanting to kind of do something a little bit different i highly recommend this dinner it was so good it hit the spot that night so i'm definitely like i said i'm gonna be making it again but thank y'all so much for being here today i hope y'all enjoyed this week's what's for dinner if you did as always don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already it's free and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of my future uploads also don't forget to go check out ashley's video from the day i'm sure she's got a delicious what's for dinner over there for y'all as well thank y'all so much for being here today i love each and every one of y'all and i'll catch you all in the next one bye y'all